Google recently released a wireless charger for the Nexus 4. One arrived on my doorstep this afternoon, so let's take a look. I was sitting here shooting a video when the doorbell rang. It was the UPS guy who had a little present for us today. The Nexus 4 wireless charging orb. Get our little unboxing tool here. My big knife that I had laying on the desk. Inside the box, if we can get in there. There we go. A little paper. Inside the box, we've got some papers and your typical USB cable. This actually looks like it's might have been opened before. <laughs> the USB cable is starting to come unwrapped already. But it is just a standard micro USB cable that plugs into the back of the unit, I'm guessing, with a US power adapter for AC. And the orb itself, which is very oddly reminiscent of the uh, Nexus Q by Google, which was released last year, the round little spherical shape. But yes, it's got dust and dirt on it already. Um, let's go for the nice peel sound. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. I like that a lot. But the box is kind of weird. It's a really weird design, and it does. It looks like it's already been opened and taped back or something. I don't know. That's just really strange. See, it looks ripped inside. I don't know. That's really strange. Really low quality packaging. But you would expect it would be very high quality for something so uh, expensive. This thing retails for $59.99 and they're currently in stock still if you want to get one. The book is also kind of messed up. <laughs> the wireless charger st quick start guide is comes with crinkle pages and stuff. <clears throat> and the other package, the other paper is your limited warranty. So here is the actual orb itself. If we can get a get an autofocus on this thing. It is just a that that's got a little sticky surface on it, I guess, so it'll hold on to the Nexus 4. A little friction there. Um, and the back is there's just this one port for your micro USB charger and also some more friction. It's a rubber rubber placeholder on the bottom there. <clears throat> but you can just Toss your Nexus 4 on it and it stays. Sort of. There we go. So let's get this thing plugged up and see how it works. Before I crawl under the table and plug this thing into the wall, let's take a look at the cables. Um, the Both ends of the micro USB cable are very high quality. It is a very premium feel to it and it fits snugly in the AC power adapter which is also very high quality. It's lightweight plastic but it is built really well. I finagled the cable around under the table and let's check out how this thing works. You drop the Nexus 4 on, it charges and you don't have to worry about the device sliding off. The friction pad on the front of the charging orb is extremely tacky and it doesn't let the device slide around. Take the device off, it stops charging, drop it back down and it starts charging again. I took the time to also grab my Nexus Q, which is very similar in design to the Nexus 4's charging orb. They're both spherical and have a slightly slanted cut on the bottom that make them sit at an angle. It's very unique looking and distinguishing. Build quality is fantastic. The device is actually very weighty and it feels great in the hand, which I don't know why you'd be holding it, but it does feel very high quality. Like I said, the friction pad is very tacky and you don't have to worry about setting the device on the pad just right. You don't have to line anything up, it just works. The real question is how fast does this thing actually charge since that's the only thing it really does. I've been charging for less than an hour and the percentage has jumped from 58% to 84%. That's pretty fast. The DC output is one amp and the Google Play Store lists the average charge time about four hours. So it's not super fast, not slow. Another important tidbit is that it works really well with a bumper case or even if you have a skin on the back. That stuff doesn't really bother it at all and it still sits perfectly on the orb. The question is, is this thing really worth the money? It retails for $60 so it's not exactly cheap, but it is really cool and it props up the device. For me, it will probably remain a device in my personal arsenal for as long as I have the Nexus 4. This has been a quick look at the Nexus 4 wireless charging orb. I'm Taylor Martin with Pocket Now, and I will see you next time.